Hello, it's Scott from Boulderhead Gaming. We're back with more Five Nights at Freddy VR Help Wanted. And today, we're going to continue our God-given mission as a parts and service technician. And we're going to do our very best to fix Freddy. So let's go ahead and roll up our sleeves, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and let's try to fix this emotionally damaged bear. Welcome back to Parts and Service. It looks like one of our guests left a personal item on our star attraction. Let's return Why it would to they the do that? found. Okay. Carefully, grab and remove the child's hat from Freddy's mouth. Freddy's got a pr good job. Now place the hat in the lost and found bin on your right. It's a trash can, isn't it? While we're at it, let's make sure there isn't anything else stuck inside. To okay. access Freddy's chest cavity, grab Freddy's bow tie and pull it outwards. Are you fucking kidding me? This just seems like a terrible idea. Well done. Oh, okay. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. Okay. Don't touch any of his sensitive wiring. Oh. I thought I was going to touch it. Okay. It's going to stop, goes back over, comes back up. Oh. Oh. Did I touch his wiring then? Welcome back to Parts and Service. Yes, it thank you for like having me. It looks like one of our me. guests left a personal item on our star attraction. Let's How return they? to the lost and found. Take out the hat. Carefully, Freddy's got a pretty good hold of Good job. Let go of it, Now fucker. place the hat in the... While we're at it, let's make sure there isn't anything else stuck inside. To access Freddy's chest cavity, grab... Well done. There it is! Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Okay. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. Good job. Thank you. It appears there is a child's shoe wedged How behind Freddy's music box. How the fuck am I supposed box. to get that? The music box must be removed before you can access the child's shoe. Gently grasp the music box and extract it from Freddy's chest cavity before the safety latch descends. What? Carefully place the music box on the work table to your left. Okay. Great job. To reset the safety latch, Press the button located on Freddy's endoskeleton. This one? Now, remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. Okay. Don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. Well done. Oh. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity and we'll call it a day. Okay, we can do that. Oh no, you seem to have mishandled Freddy's music box. This is not uh -oh. good. A replacement may uh -oh. be found on the work table. A slow and even pace is rec a slow and even pace is recommended. How slow is How slow is slow? How slow is slow? God damn it, you okay. Well done. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity, and we'll call it a day. Oh no, you seem to have mishandled Freddy's music box. Okay. This is not good. A replacement may be found on the work table. A slow and even pace is recommended. Slow and even. Timing goes all the way over. Okay. 
Well done. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity. Oh no, you seem to have mishandled Freddy's music box. This a slow Fuck. and even pace is recommended. A slow and even pace is recommended. Crisis averted. To close Freddy's chest oh. cavity, press the large black button on the center of Freddy's face. His nose? Oh, I can't reach it. That concludes your time in parts and service. Your pay will be docked accordingly. Okay. Oh my god. Goddamn fucking camera. Ugh. I need to sit down. I am sinking into the floor. Now I am above the table. Wow. Would you look at that? Jesus. What the fuck happened to this thing? Can I eat you too? <gasps> Help me, mama! Help me! Help. <laughs> yep. The Fazbear Virtual Experience is a robust title, but it almost never made it to market. The first wow, development cool. team had a lot of problems, made some sloppy mistakes, and was oh, eventually shit, pulled from the project. For oh. that reason, we recommend that you avoid any comments, notes, or warnings that may have been left behind by previous development teams. We assure you that they are wholly untrustworthy. That reminds me, I did pick up another cassette. It was in Chica's level. Wait. Did I, did I do tape six? I came in early that morning. No one else was there. That sounds different. At least that's what I thought. Mm. The supply room was lit. Uh -huh. I didn't even notice Jeremy standing in the testing room as I walked past. The supply room was so bright, glowing so from bright. all the way down the hall. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Apparently I got more than I Jeremy complained I of did. nightmares when he came in this morning. He wasn't talking about it like someone telling a friend about his dreams, though. He was pale. This camera's like fucking shaking. Days. He spent an hour talking in Dale's office, but it didn't look like he was given much sympathy. When he came out, he went directly back to the testing room. He doesn't even jump anymore. Nothing scares him. He just stands there like he's talking to someone. Sometimes he rocks from side to side. We were told to leave him alone. I knew I was in line to do the testing. Okay, replay that tape seven. Oops. Tape seven. Jeremy complained of nightmares when he came in this morning. He wasn't talking about it like someone telling a friend about his dreams, though. He was pale. Looked like he hadn't eaten in days. He spent an hour talking in Dale's office. But it didn't look like he was given much sympathy. When he came out, he went directly back to the testing room. He doesn't even jump anymore. Nothing scares him. Whoa. He just stands there like he's talking to someone. Sometimes he rocks from side to side. We were told to leave him alone. I knew I was in line to do the testing next. They'd been prepping me for it. I guess they knew that Jeremy would need to be replaced soon. Well, that's creepy that they knew he was going to be replaced. You can always tell when a company is getting ready to fire someone. They start giving out written warnings for silly things, making sure to build a paper trail and make a case for a firing. Things that normally no one would care about suddenly become grave offenses, all worthy of being written and documented. I guess it works two ways, because it also encourages a person to quit rather than be scrutinized so heavily. 
I think Jeremy was too far gone to consider that option, though. The thing about it is that I don't think they were going to fire him because of anything he was doing wrong. They just knew he'd seen something. They needed to discredit him. Those bastards. How dare they try to discredit Jeremy. Jeremy! Jeremy from Phineas and Ferb. Candace. You try to discredit Jeremy? You fucking freak. Hmm. You and I, we're gonna go around. If I could walk over there without tripping over stuff, or run into a wall, mm, buddy. Thought I heard something. Weird. Okay. Ooh. Okay, well. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. If you want to stay up to date, click subscribe and the bell icon to get notifications when I release new Five Nights at Freddy VR Help Wanted videos. And as always, if you have any lo locations for coins, locations for cassettes, strategies on how to beat certain levels that I'm struggling with, go ahead and let me know down below in the comments. I'll very much appreciate it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Bubba Izzy, Daddy Loves You, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. A Five Night at Freddy VR Help Wanted, where we go ahead and probably do the whole Foxy parts and services, if I can get this damn camera figured out. You can just tell, I mean, look at it, how it's swaying. I'm not even moving. It's just like the location of the camera that's making me motion sick. Anyway, that's my problem, not yours, and I won't bother you with it. So, thanks again for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye!